Hey, we're back for another video. We're out and about again. Uh, we're doing Astro again. Well, why not? Pilbara, no clouds, amazing stars. It's an absolutely gorgeous night. We're going to hit that intro. We're going to talk about star trails, what we're doing, how we're doing it, and what we're hoping for. And then hopefully at the end of it, you'll see the photo, uh, or the photo of the star trails and how it all works. Yeah. Fingers crossed we'll get a couple of quick shots of the Milky Way as well while we're here. And uh, yeah, water, reflections, star trails. Papow, the triple threat. Right now, let's hit that intro and have a chat. Well, it's good to have you back today, Sunday, or this Sunday. It should be a Sunday when this comes out. Um, yeah, as I said, beautiful night. Not a cloud. It hasn't been a cloud all week. So getting up early and going out, it's going to be blown out. Not the best time. You really want some of those nice clouds to sort of get that nice light as well, I guess, in the mornings for sunrise and stuff like that. So I've been waiting for some clouds. It doesn't look like we're going to get much this week. But astro-wise, the Pilbara is one of the best locations I've ever seen for astrophotography, so it's pretty hard to knock that back. Over this way, basically facing west, I've got the Milky Way probably that far off the horizon. So I've just taken a couple of quick shots of that, and it looks pretty good. I so just standard stuff, uh, f2.8. I've got the EF 16 to 35L lens on tonight. Purely because I just want to compare it and see the difference between that 24L series and then the old 2. f2.8, f2.8 to the f4. Um, I'm shooting at 2.8, 6400 ISO, 10 seconds on the R6. So that's the plan for just the Milky Way shot. And they look pretty good. So I'll show them now before we go on any further. So uh, there's a couple of nice shots. Now the beauty of it is, I've got this little bit of water, which is basically recycled water um, from the camp, which is fantastic. They go through, they do the right process. We reuse what we use, what we sort of, I get dirty and put it back through and clean it up and reuse it, which is fantastic. It's super still, which is even better. So what that means is we get those, not only we got these beautiful stars in the sky and the Milky Way, we've also got those stars reflecting off the water because there's not much wind, which is fantastic. So we're going to have that Milky Way shot. I'll show that to you now this way that way up here one of one of these no oh, it doesn't matter it's going to come through it's a whole image yeah right yeah we'll have a look at that now and i hope you enjoy that one Radio. So that's the Milky Way. I hope you enjoyed that. It's a beautiful little shot. It didn't take much to get out of it. As I said, it's we get pure black skies up here. So it's not very hard to beat that out. Now, tonight we're going to be, again, using that interval timer that we've used before in the past to do our shots. So you're going to set that up. I've got, the, obviously, the dual batteries with the battery grip on the R6, which is perfect. I know that lasts me hours on end. I don't have to worry about batteries and all that sort of stuff. I've got it focused, I've got it set up, again, using the same settings that we had for the Milky Way, but over, over this way, and I'm facing at the southern point. Now, I've used photo pills. Can't show you that because I'm filming on the iPhone here. Hopefully that works out tonight. <laughs> I played around with the settings on the on the phone, and I'm trying to work it out because I'm about to get the new, I'm finally getting a new phone shortly, and I'm hopeful that's going to be a little bit better for this low-light stuff. So, anyway, back to, I can <laughs> digress a little. 
back to here so 6400 f 2.8 10 seconds is what we're using for the settings so the settings really shouldn't change what we're going to do is just take 100 200 shots and then we're going to put them in photoshop and blend them so and then we'll get that and we'll get a beautiful star trail now because i'm facing that southern point up up there that's in the sky probably about two-thirds of the way up in the in the frame we should get a circular star trail right over the top of the merch shirt did you like that segue circular to the merch shirt nice bright color this is for the drone the tracking there's methods to my madness <laughs> so we should get that nice circle in the sky with the stars but also because I've got the 16 and the 35, and that's another reason why I brought that out, not the 24 to 105, is because I've got that water there, I'm hopeful to get circles in the sky with the star trails, and then also, I guess, a, maybe a half moon star trails in the water of the reflection. So I think that might be pretty cool. So that's, that's the image I've got in my head. Hopefully, we can get it right and get it to work out. And basically, I am ready to shoot. So you're going to turn off this light, get this bad boy going, and uh, I'll be back in two hours' time to have a chat to you about how we went. Hopefully it come up good. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. Full circle, half circle reflection. That's the plan. Right -o. Let's fast forward two hours, and I'll see you then. Just come back quickly. I did stop it because I did had a bit of a brain melt. Obviously... <laughs> Star trails is 30 seconds for the star trails, but what so that's the picture I've got here. Um, so that's the 10 seconds, which is good because what I can do is possibly use the 10 second one for the foreground. So if I want to keep the stars in the water, so I've got a, some shots, a few shots here that I can stack, that'll give me my foreground nice and smooth and neat at the 10 seconds. And now I'll go into my star trail version, which is the 30 seconds. And then then so obviously my time i've got to go up and adjust that so i'm going to do 35 seconds because i want 30 seconds then two seconds two seconds 30 seconds then two seconds for the delay and then three seconds this gives me 35 so it's perfect so if i go oh, if we go 34 would be enough so it's in a two seconds in between two that's perfect all right so that'll do me come back down Unlimited. Right, yeah, I didn't want to confuse you, so I thought I'd better stop it and explain it. So I've got about 10 shots at the front stacked at, that I can use for stacking at 10 seconds. That'll be my water and my trees and this uh, little edge of the lake. Then I'll go in, now I'll go into my two hour time or hour and a half time. So I can get the star trails, which is 30 seconds. And I've dropped it down to 1600 ISO still f2.8 because they we, you don't have to have much light in there because you're just getting the stars moving you don't have to have that deal detail in the background so you can come down the iso you get a little bit darker uh you're not really pulling all that light out because you're going to get that with the merge i guess of the all the photos so that's the plan all right make sure that's at two seconds yep ready to rock let's hit play ah See you soon in about an hour and a half. Oh, well, we're back. We're done and dusted. Two hours, fully done. It uh, come up pretty good. You might not be able to, probably not going to be able to see it, but you'll see the shot shortly. There's stars in the water, which is the important thing. Get those stars there because we want, we want to try and get the star trails in the water. I've also got the option there, those first 10 shots that we talked about before, to freeze those and have the stars reflected. And then... Uh, Get a nice clean shot stack them up and then get and then use the star trails for the sky so we've got a couple of options up our sleeve which is pretty cool i think time wise was a little bit weird and i, I have it with the interval timer on the r6 it's a little bit tricky so see if you get confused by this so it was a 30 second shot two second delay so that takes the wobble out of the the camera so i just do a two second for the start and should be two so that's 30 that's two that's 32 but I had to reset it, do it a few times. Basically, to get it right, which left about four or five seconds in between the start and the new photo, I had to go to 42 seconds on the interval timer. Doesn't seem right, does it? So 
the way I had it, I had, remember we talked about 34 seconds. So I had the 30, take the two seconds and then 30 for the shot. And then another two seconds after that. And then it should start the two second again and go into it. That's my, I've, what I would have thought was logical. But for some reason, I had to keep going up and I got to 42 seconds and it worked out perfect. If anyone can explain that, hit the comments down below and let me know where I'm going wrong or what the formula is to get this right because I don't want to lead anyone astray, but I'd rather tell you now because it's a little bit weird. When I do my 10-second shots, I use 15 seconds and it works perfect. For some reason, when I go up to 30 second, and I, the only thing I could think of, it's you need to allocate a little bit of time for obviously that data to record onto the disc. Obviously, a 30-second shot, it's processing a lot of stuff. Maybe you've got to allow a few seconds for that. Three, four, five seconds or something. At least four or five seconds. But anyway, so I did 30 seconds with two, which worked out 42 seconds was perfect. It left about a two, three second gap. And then it started the next shot. So that was the timing scenario for the interval timer. Just if you are going to be doing it on the R6 and you're having trouble, I'm having trouble too. And I'm not 100% sure exactly how you what the perfect calculation is because I would have thought 34 seconds or 35 would have been perfect, but it just yeah, it just wouldn't do it. It was stopping and starting and doing, yeah, it was doing crazy stuff. Anyway, I digress. I'm going to, the pan handle's up and looks pretty smitho. I'm going to take a quick shot of that. Uh, I'll sh obviously show you this shot. This is why we're here. Hope you enjoy this. I hope it comes out good. <laughs> My editing better be good. I will see you all in the next video. And if this pan handle shot comes up any good, I will chuck that up there as well. Radio, I'll see you all next Sunday and have a fantastic week. I need to go home and go to bed. Radio, peace.